Alone and in unfamiliar countryside, Sebastian had volunteered to locate the man who could help his ailing friend, Sarah. With the help of Belle, he scaled the sides of a steep waterfall and found Dr. Carlos fishing beside a lake. Sebastian identified himself and was able to convince Dr. Carlos to return to the village immediately. The first part of his mission was completed. Sebastian now has to find a way to get hefty Dr. Carlos down the treacherous waterfall path. I know how we can do it now. Follow me. I'll believe it when I see it. Fine this time. What are you going to do with that vine? We're using it to get you down the waterfalls. What? Down the falls? But, but I can't possibly manage that. Never one to give up, Sebastian soon has him convinced. What are we going to do now? We're just going to lower you down. Huh? Don't tell me I'm going to hang from this vine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry. Bell will always be in control of everything. Mm -hmm. oh, I feel so dizzy. Try to relax, Dr. Carlos. Okay. Mm. I'm counting on you. Don't worry. Bill, let the vine go. Slowly at first. Here goes. Are you doing all right? Hurry, I'm almost there. Great. Bell, Gucci. Okay, now it's our turn to climb down. Look like what we need. Okay, pick it up. What do I have to go through this time? Oh. Sebastian happily makes plans. But two policemen are not quite so happy. They're late. What mischief are they up to now? They mustn't escape. I'm sure they haven't. How do you know? Well, because they wouldn't break a promise to, to Miss Sarah. The sun is setting. Mm. They better not have broken that promise. And an anxious father is even less happy. Just a little while longer. Bell and Sebastian are bringing Dr. Carlos back to make you better. Please, don't give up.
back at the waterfall, Sebastian accomplished his task. All done. Okay, let's get it in the water. Push! Come on, Dr. Carlos. Yes, but I'm so heavy. That's okay. I'll hold you. Oh, oh, oh. Bell and Sebastian, now set sail! So, down the river they floated on a raft they built themselves. Sebastian, confident he can solve any problem, is now determined to bring help to his aiding friend. It's really wonderful that you care so much about Sarah. She's been a good friend to me, too. Oh. Is Sarah very sick, Dr. Carlos? Just leave it up to me. She'll be better before you know it. Well, then, what are we waiting for? waiting. They're up to no good and we're going to go after them now. Hmm? What? Okay. Hmm. But before they're able to do anything. Ah, we made it! <coughs> hey, look, I see them. We're over here. I'm sorry, Willie. Yes, we're awfully sorry. I feel terrible. I never thought we'd make it in a million years. You, you broke your promise. You're being arrested. Arrested? What for? No, uh, uh, not you, Dr. Carlos. I mean this boy and his dog. Let's go get in the car, Dr. Carlos. We've got to hurry up. No, 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 just wait one minute. My car is over there, and I need to get the medical bag that's in it. Then let's go, quick. Huh? You'll be getting into this car. That means you too, Belle. <laughs> With sirens blaring full blast, the two cars speed off to the Alberts' home and arrive sometime later that evening. I have finally found Dr. Carlos for you, Mr. Albert. I'm grateful to you. We've been expecting you. My Sarah needs your help. Huh. Now then, Belle and Sebastian. Aren't you glad Dr. Carlos got back here just in time? Huh? If we're lucky, maybe Sarah will get better real soon. Hmm. But, but...
Dr. Carlos, do you think she'll recover? She seems to be under a great deal of stress. Oh? I need to hear the story of what actually happened. Uh. Hmm? Belle and Sebastian wait out in the courtyard. I hope that she gets better real soon. Belle and Sebastian, what will we do with them? Hmm? Hmm. I've decided that they're absolutely clear and innocent. I won't be swayed by any sentimentality. I have important duties to perform. Oh, but, 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 I can't. Hmm? Hmm. Sebastian, waiting all night with great anxiety for the news, fell fast asleep just about dawn. Sebastian! Bill! It's time for you to wake up! Sebastian! Uh, go away! Come on, Sebastian! Wake up! Miss Sarah's asking for you! Huh? Did you say Sarah? Yes, she's waiting to see all of you. Is she all right? Why don't you go see for yourself? Right now? Yes, completely. That's great! Yippee! I'm so happy! And I owe it all to my two friends, Belle and Sebastian. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your brave deed. Oh gosh, that's all right. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> huh? Did I forget you? And you too. <laughs> Later that day, a hopeful group wait for Sarah's first step outdoors. Congratulations to you, Miss Sarah. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but now I have to arrest Belle and Sebastian. <sighs> oh. But Garcia, I told you all along we would do this. Time to go, Sebastian. Can't you see you're making a big mistake by arresting this boy? You are such an insensitive man. It is my duty to make sure these criminals do not go free. Please come with me quietly. You better give up. Oh. Huh? Uh. Sarah? Uh. What happened? awful again. Please make it go away. Sarah, call Dr. Carlos. I'll take her upstairs. <clears throat> huh? Sarah! And it's all your fault, you big brute. Oh, uh... Huh? Uh... There. Sarah, are you all right? Sarah! I'm just fine, Daddy. Sarah! <laughs> Did you really believe me? I was only pretending that I was sick. Then you weren't really sick all this time? 
I was just pretending so that I could help Belle and Sebastian. Sarah, even I thought it was true. <laughs> <laughs> what a good oh trick. <laughs> here he is. Sarah's not feeling well. It... Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Carlos, but I was pretending. Pretending? But why? Shh. There's a good reason for it. Okay. Oh. Dr. Carlos, what is poor Sarah's condition? Tell us. Very grave, I'm sorry to say. R r you mean that really? And I can't possibly diagnose when she'll recover. You mean... It's impossible to cure her? Are you calling me a quack? Of course I've cured her. I mean, once. But there's a kind of sickness that I'm unable to cure. What's that? It's sickness of the heart. That's what. Detective Garcia is continuing to wait for you downstairs. How long do you think we can deceive him? I don't know. I know. I'll ask Daddy not to allow Detective Garcia to arrest Belle and Sebastian, okay? That'll probably be difficult to do, even for your father. Mm-hmm. As soon as they found out that Sarah was well, they would just come here searching for you and make their arrest anyway. Then I'll just pretend to be sick forever and ever. Then you'd have to stay in bed all the time, Miss Sarah. I wouldn't mind if it helps Sebastian. Let's try to think of a better solution. Well, thank you, everybody. It's time. We should be going. You're leaving? You shouldn't leave. I should. No, no, no! I don't want you to! Sarah, I have to leave so I can try to find my mother. I can't stay here with you forever now, can I? But, but, but we've just become such good friends. I know, we'll meet again. Really? Sure. Do you promise me? Mm-hmm. So let's cheer up. Uh-huh. But how do we sneak you past Detective Garcia, who's sitting downstairs? I think I have the right answer to that question. Oh, Papa! I'll involve Detective Garcia in a long-winded conversation and keep him busy. That way you'll have a head start. Mm-hmm. Uh, this waiting is unbearable. Mm -hmm. Are your men still waiting? Of course we are, and I don't plan to leave until that criminal is arrested. Why don't you sit down? Mm -hmm. You really are the best detective in Spain. Thank you. It's nice to know I'm appreciated, sir. And I'm sorry to have troubled you so much this time. Oh, not at all. <laughs> well, now, how about a drink? Uh, sure. Yes, but you're on duty now. Uh, I know that. Uh, thank you, but as you can see, I'm on duty now, uh, perhaps later. It's a very fine vintage. If I can be blunt, I have certain regrets in my life. Uh, regrets? Hmm. About Sarah. Dr. Carlos told me that lack of love and understanding could make a person very sick and unhappy, and I think that's Sarah's situation exactly. Oh, understanding. I have behaved without real consideration of others, especially my Sarah, and that's been my big mistake. Dr. Carlos told me. In other words, I'm guilty of bringing Sarah up only when and if it's convenient. Ah. Uh. We can go now. Don't make any noise. I thought I had done everything I could to make Sarah happy, but what she really wanted was friends her own age to play with and the freedom to be allowed to leave this house. Oh. I'm ashamed to say that I never considered Sarah's real needs. She must have been very lonely here without her mother or any brothers or sisters to be part of a family. 
。哦。Come this way. Hurry up. Ah, <sighs> it would be terrible if we made any noise. Pell is sure a smart dog. Maybe it's.、Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> it's probably Maria again. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> oh, she's so clumsy. <laughs> she could have dropped a whole stack of dishes. <laughs> she's broken more dishes、mm -hmm. in this house than I、Maybe、care to、so. count. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> You're right. It must be Maria. <laughs> Was pretty close, but it's all right now. Thank you for everything. Please be careful. Come again. Mm-hmm. I promise. I hope you find your mother. You stay well, sir. Sebastian. <laughs> That was my first kiss. Well, goodbye. Let's go, Bill. Goodbye. See you soon. Detective Garcia. Are you still planning on arresting Bell and Sebastian? Certainly, the boy and the dog are being wanted internationally. It's my responsibility to keep peace in this village and arrest them. Detective Garcia. However, if my suspicions are correct, they are no longer even in this vicinity. Oh. And if they really are gone, then I'm no longer required to arrest them, right? Oh. Detective, you're a good man. <laughs> well, I have nothing more to say. Well, should we celebrate this happy occasion with a little taste of nice wine, Martin? Yes. Sebastian and Bell continue their journey south, in the hope of finding Sebastian's mother. Sebastian is sorry to leave such good friends behind. But he knows he'll meet many new ones along the way.